If Christians gave just this one area, just financially, the way that Jesus would want us to, it would have such an amazing effect on the whole world. And I'm not just talking about all the people we could help, you know, and feed and get them the water and everything else. I'm talking about the cynicism that we see towards the church in the United States. Flying out here, person next to me, just why does he reject God? I've seen it all. My buddy that came with me sat with another guy. Why doesn't that guy believe in God? Same type of thing. Everyone's pointing to these believers who, yeah, he calls himself Christian, but I don't see anything. They don't see a compassion. They don't see a love. They see us say that we hold to certain beliefs and a certain theology, but they don't see us really loving people to the point where we give to them sacrificially. And I think just that one thing because the world loves their money so much that it really is shocking to them and a light to them when they go, you really don't care. You just gave that away joyfully. You really believe you're going to be rewarded in the next life. Like, you know, whether they believe it or not, at least now they're rejecting a, a true example. Um, right now there's just... People laugh at what we call church, what we call Christianity. And so if we could get churches to really seek to live out this kind of loving, generous giving, I think it's going to have a huge impact on the world. Jesus talked about money so much, so it doesn't make any sense to say, let's talk about spiritual things, not money. That's like, okay, so then Jesus wasn't real spiritual. <laughs> you know, no, he talked about it all the time. It's, Jesus was, when you, when you look at the things that he would say to people, he was very concrete. See, we like, in, in America, we like to make spirituality almost um, something you can't measure. We, we make it very abstract. Like, oh, I feel this. God, he's just in me, I just know it. You know, and, and well, but where's the fruit? You know, where's the love, joy, peace, patience, kindness? You know, the, the words that Jesus uses, the words that John uses, the words that James uses, is this like, well, you say this, you say this kind of ethereal, abstract, oh, I love people, but scripture would say, but if you love them, you wouldn't just say, oh, I love you, go warm and be fed you would actually give them some food and put some clothes on their back. You would do something practical, something we could see. And, and you know, you, and, and at the same time, he says, you're not gonna be like the Pharisees who do things just to be seen. And so we're not talking about that. But true, true spirituality is going to lead to some sort of action. Like, I, I'm trying to think, it, it may have been Amy Carmichael who said, you can, you can give without loving but you can't love without giving. I thought, ooh, that's good. <laughs> you know, that's, that's what it comes down to. We can say, oh, I'm so loving this, that. Well, if you were, you would give. 